y equals 1 over x, that first one. We can write this in a much more general way, such as y equals a over x minus h plus k. Okay, so just to do a simple example, say we have y equals 2 over x minus 1 plus 3. Okay, so here what the 2 does, if you start off with your basic graph, okay, what the 2 does is it's going to stretch the graph vertically. So that just means instead of being like uh, over here at uh, 1, 1, now it's going to be at 1, 2, okay? Instead of being over at negative 1, negative 1, you're going to be at negative 1, negative 2. So it's, it's stretching it. Okay, so now your graph looks something like this. Okay, stretching it in the vertical direction. But the 1 and the 3, they pick up the graph and they shift it left and right, up and down. The one that's grouped with the x, it has the opposite effect on the graph. If it's minus one, it actually shifts the graph right one and up three. Okay, so each of these points is gonna shift right one, up three. Even the asymptotes themselves are gonna shift right one, up three. So this is gonna be uh, right one, up three. So now you can see your graph's gonna look more like something like that. Okay, so that's, um, the reciprocal function. Let's look at the square root function. Say we wanted to graph y equals negative 2 square root of x plus 2 minus 4. Okay, so what you can do is you can take a look at the, trans, uh, the translation here. So this is going to shift left 2 and down 4. So left 2, down 4. So we can think of that as our starting point. Okay. And if we look at what's left, this is going to be like our core function, okay, so our, our, like our parent function. The 2 is going to stretch the graph. The negative is going to reflect the graph. So what we can do is we can make a table. Instead of graphing from the origin like we normally do, we're going to graph from the shifted point since everything's going to be shifted left, 2, and down, 4. So let's just make a table. Pick some easy values like 0, 1, and 4. Square root of 0 is 0 times negative 2 is 0. Square root of 1 is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Square root of 4 is 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And we're going to plot these points from here. So right 1, down 2, uh, right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, down 4, right there. And you can see the graph is looks like that. So the if you want to do this in order, you want to describe the translation and the transformation in order, you would start uh, from the inside, just like you're working with the order of operations. You'd say this shifts left 2. Okay, so you start off with your basic graph. Shifts left 2. It gets stretched by 2 times. So it's going to be just going to go up faster like that. The negative is going to reflect it over the x-axis. Okay, and then the negative 4 is going to shift it down 4. But as far as graphing is concerned, I would use the method that I just showed you. I would Consider the translation, the shift first. Think of that as your starting point. Look at what the remainder of the function and graph that, make a table and graph it from that, that new starting point. And that's a, a quick and easy way to get the graph. I'll show you another example. Let's pick another one. Let's take y equals x cubed this time. So y equals x cubed. And again, we can think of this in a more general way, like y equals a x minus h cubed plus k. The h shifts it left and right, k shifts it up and down, and the a stretches it or compresses it. So let's just do this one, y equals 1 half x plus 4 cubed minus 2. Okay, so what happens to the graph here? Shifts left 4, down 2, the 1 half is actually compressing it. Now, if we want to say it in order, it actually shifts left 4, working from the inside out. It's a vertical compression, k times a half, and then it shifts down 2. But as far as uh, an easy way to graph it, what I would do is I would think about graphing from the shifted origin, which is left 4 and down 2. Okay, think of that as your starting point. And then we're going to just focus in on what's left here y equals 1 half x cubed. So I'm just going to make a table, pick some easy values like negative 1, 0, and 1. 
So a cube root of neg uh, I'm sorry, x cubed negative one cubed is negative one times a half is negative a half. Zero cubed is zero times a half is zero. One cubed is one times a half is a half. So from here I'm going to go left one down a half, zero zero, right one up a half, and I didn't graph a whole lot of points here, but the graph's going to look like that. So the half compressed it. The 4 shifted it left 4, and the negative 2 shifted it down 2. So you can do this with any parent function. You can stretch it and compress it, and you can shift it left and right, up and down. Um, just think of it uh, in a more general way like we've been doing these other ones. So this has been an introduction to uh, parent functions and transformations. I'll see you in the next video.